Hi there, and welcome to another JIDWeb tutorial. Today's tutorial, how to put your black point and your white point in the correct places. Uh, here we have an image. Well, the first thing we really need some music to be fair. Can't do a tutorial without music. There we go. Right, what have we got here? Standard image of an aircraft landing. Contrast isn't quite there, and there's also an ever such a slight uh, magenta hue to the image. You can fix both of those here in one go by putting the black point and the white point in the right positions. So, how do we achieve this? Firstly, we need to find out where black is on the image, and we need to find out where white is on the image. So, create an adjustment leather layer, um, a threshold adjustment layer. Select that, and there we have turned the image into basically into a black and white image. Uh, all the white is on the right hand side of the histogram, all the black is on the left. So if we move the threshold slider over to the left, everything that is the further we go, everything there is is black. So I'm going to select the rest point here that uh, has my black point. So how do we remember that? Well, select the eyedropper tool, hold the shift button down, and click. And there you've got a marker point number one. And that will be our black point. So now we need to find the white point. So, just grab over the slider, drag it all the way across to the other side. Uh, we have a few points there we can select. We can pick that one there. So again, select the eyedropper tool, hold the shift button down, and click, and there's point number two. That is our white point. So, we're now done with our threshold adjustment layer. So we'll chuck that in the skip. And <clears throat> what do we do with those two points now? Well, you can use either your layers adjustment, to, uh, an adjustment level, or a curve adjustment. Well, we'll use curves. How do we do it? Three eyedroppers here. Black, grey and white. So select the, the black eyedropper, go to your black point, and click it. And go to your white point. And click inside your number two point. And there we go. Now, so a lot of people ask me, how do I get rid of those points um, once they're there? Well, quite easy. Select your eyedropper tool, go to your point, hold the shift button down, and just drag it off your image and it's gone. Do that again. Hold the shift button down, click and drag, and you've got rid of your eyedroppers. Now then, let's have a look and see what we've actually done. The image now looks good, the colours look right. That's without. Lacking in contrast, magenta hue, and with. And there we go. Colour correction and contact, contrast adjustment all in one easy step. Thanks for watching, catch you at the next time.